So yesterday I had done the first part, first section of my uh, deck collection that I have. And somebody has asked me to do a walkthrough of their Chakra Wisdom Tarot. I think I've shown this before, but probably not in great detail. I can't really remember. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put it in my revisited section. So this will be like a revisited deck. Um, but I'm revisiting, but I haven't still used it, as I said yesterday. Um, so I probably can't add as much more than what I'm, a lot of people on a normal walkthrough would be able to add. Um, it is um, by Tori Hartman. Um, the best-selling author of the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards, which I have and I do love. Um, I bought this tarot because of the love of that oracle. Um, but the artwork and everything is completely different with this tarot. Um, I've had a bit of a look this morning and read as much as I could, eyes allowing. And it does look really interesting, actually. And I really am going to start working with this. Um, it's a 78 cards with an illustrated guidebook. And it comes in this green box. Um, it is a um, Watkins Watkins Publishing. Um, and it says, a unique combination of colourful chakra wisdom and tarot for inspired divina divination. For the first time ever, this incredible new divination tool by acclaimed intuitive Tori Hartman allows each of the 78 tarot cards to be interpreted through one of the seven chakras. These cards will clearly reveal your future path as well as a visionary road map to manifesting your dreams. See tarot through the lens of the chakras, helping you to shift outgrown ideas and beliefs. Follow the fools through every card of the major arcana and journey with her into your calling. Try out card spreads created specially for you to tap into your chakra energy and give more accurate interpretations. So that's what it says on the back. So let's have a look. Oh, knocking the table. It comes with um, the pull here. So you just pull it undone. Just move the box out of the way for a minute. And there's your book inside. So let's take the book out. It's not a, an awfully thick book, but it, it's it's thick enough. Um, now you have the contents. Um, an introduction the it introduces you to the chakra system and the chakra wisdom oracle. Um, it then chakra wisdom tarot, the difference between the chakra wisdom oracle and the tarot. Breaking away from the chakra wisdom oracle. What will this deck do for you? For, uh, do, yeah, do for you. Uh, for tarot experts, the, um, for energy healers, how to use this book. Uh, working with chakra manif man manifesting. Um, set your intention, magnetizing and manifesting. The power of chakra meditation. The chakra focus on the top there. You get a little there. So the root taken is the red. Um, the red chakra is the root taken, family belief shifting, old, old, old ideas. The orange is the emotional response. Are you feeling mature or immature? The yellow making plans. What do you what you think and where that is leading you? Green is permission. Whose approval do you need? True fears are revealed. Uh, the messages is blue. What you see in your life is your creation. And then the... Um, it's um, what they call that colour. It's like a purpley blue. I can't think what they call it. What they call it. Um, it's the origins. Is this really real or a hidden family agreement? And I can't think of that colour's name. You'll have to excuse me for that because I just can't remember. Then the universal um, is the like the purpley lilac colour is tapping into the unconscious, uh, the consciousness of the unified world. And then it goes into meditations. Um, different meditations and then the chakras within the tarot and then we go into the major arcana and the cards so it says here um, the 56 minor arcanas um, represent day-to-day -day matters and they closely resemble our modern playing card deck with one exception the princess aka page has been removed she is a spiritual messenger um, this may be why she was not included in the playing card decks. Um, so that's telling you, you know, there's 20, 56 minor, but 22 major. So we're in the majors. 
and it says the three levels of the Fool's Chakra Evolution, Learning, Living and Mastering. From the Fool card, Zero, through to the Lovers, the Fool embarks on finding mentors for her training in each card. She is introduced to a new tool. She is learning. The second part, the Fool continues on her Chakra Evolution from the Chariot through to Death. Her Chakra lessons are tools for living. Three, from Temperance through to World, she is in a state of mastery. The fool knows how to apply the tools, yet her choices may not always be for the highest good for herself or others. And then there's a chart below what illustrates the fool's ascension through the chakras. And then we go to the major chakra, major arcana, the le level one learning. Um, and then we go through all the cards in the level one, the learning. So we've got the fool, the adventure begins, the magician, the fool learns magic. The High Priestess, the Fool sees who she will become. The Empress, the Fool learns of a compassionate heart. And then the Emperor, the Fool learns of an unspoken energy. And the Hierophant, the Fool seeks spiritual knowledge. And then the Lovers, the Fool discovers delicious pleasure of desire. And then we go into Major Arcana Level 2, the Living. So it shows you the cards. And then again, we go through each card individually. The chariot, the fool begins her life. Strength, the fool has reigned in her emotions. Nine, the hermit, the fool begins to think for herself. And ten, the wheel of fortune, the fool discovers that destiny requires timing. Justice, the fool discovers justice. And the hanged woman, the fool pauses her future. Death, the fool steps out of her con uh, a cocoon. And then we go into the major arcana level three, mastery, with the cards, and then each of the... Temperance, the fool as an angel, the devil, the fool seeing her shadow, the tower, the fool ignores her instinct, the star, the fool learn, learn from the tower, or did the fool learn from the tower, the moon, the fool learns through the light of her shadow self, and the sun, the fool has joined her darkness and light, judgment, the fool summons gratitude, and then finally, the world manifesting secrets of the universe. And now with each one, um, you get the message of the chakra and the keywords, then the reverse meaning, the planet, what's involved, a meditation, and then the next step. So this is what you get for each of the cards. And then we go on to the minor arcana, and this is what we get. We get the first chakra, what it's called, uh, referred to as the root. It tells you where it's located, what the element is, what the colour is, what the mantra is, and the planet. Um, and then it goes through the first chakra meaning um, and the cards that are in have each got a little section each. Um, again, with the chakra message, indication, keywords, reverse, meditation and contemplation. So you get like a little section for each of the. So that's what you get for the minor cards. Then if we go into the back. Uh, 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 let's get to the end of the. There we go. Then we get some spreads. Yeah, so we get some Chakra Wisdom tarot card layouts. Uh, layout one, centering yourself to read for others. And um, then there's tips and different things there. Then you get layout two, Chakra Focus. And again, you get some different things there. Layout three, seven planets. So then you get one there for that. And layout four, your path to manifesting. And that's the end. So that is the book. Like I said, it looks a very interesting system. So let's go through the cards. Now, these won't be in order as um, most tarot cards are. I'm going to just try and zoom in or something with these cards. Two seconds. Um, they are done in um, the colours of the chakra system rather than um, going through the full onwards. Um, even though it does start with the full, it's the colours. So we're going through the, the first chakra first, which is the root chakra, which is red. So this is the one we're going through first, then it will go through um, the other colours of orange, yellow, green, blue, in indigo. That's the colour I was thinking of, purple. Um, but So they won't be in the way, it's the cards that are associated with that chakra. So the first card is the fool, as it would be in a normal tarot, but then it will lose its way. I think there's probably about three major arcana and then something like eight minor kind of something similar something along them lines for each of the chakra 
So we have the full. We have the chariot. We have temperance. There we have the aces associated with the red chakra. So we have the ace of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of wands, and the ace of coins. Then we got the eight of swords, eight of cups, eight of coins, eight of wands. So they're all the cards associated with the first chakra. The second chakra is orange and these are the cards associated with that. It's the magician, strength, the devil, the twos, so we've got the two of coins, two of swords, two of wands, two of cups, and the nines are also, so we've got the nine of cups, uh, coins, nine of swords, nine of cups, nine of wands so that's the cards associated with the second chakra the third chakra is yellow and these are the cards associated with that we have the high priestess we have the hermit now if you notice this is very feminine inspired deck so i think all the characters just about or the majority of them are female and um, so with hermit we have here is female and um, we have the tower we have the threes associated with this chakra, and we have the swords, three of wands, three of coins, three of cups. We also have the tens, so we have the ten of swords, ten of coins, ten of wands, ten of cups. So there we go. So there we go to the um, fourth chakra, the green chakra, which is green, I should say, that's around the heart. And we have the empress. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Star. Then we have the Fours associated, so the Four of Cups, the Four of Swords, Four of Wands, Four of Coins. We also have the Princess of the Cups. We have the Princess of Swords, the Princess of Wands, and the Princess of Coins. So obviously they're the, the pages. So then we go into the throat chakra, the blue chakra. So um, this is chakra number um, six. Is it six? No, five, isn't it? Yeah, five, sorry. Um, it's the emperor. Justice. The moon. Then the fives associated are the five of wands, five of swords, five of cups, five of coins, and also the knights. So we have the knight of swords, the knight of wands, Knight of Coins and Knight of Cups. Having the Knights associated with the Blue Chakra makes total sense to me because the, the Throat Chakra is all about, you know, communication, you know, um, messages, that kind of thing. So then we're going on to the Sixth Chakra. Um, and this one is um, the Hierophant, the Hanged Woman, the Sun, Six of Cups. Six of swords, six of wands, six of coins, queen of cups, queen of coins, queen of wands and queen of swords. So this chakra is all about your third eye. It's in your third eye um, area. So they're the ones that have been associated with that. Then we have the last chakra, um, the seventh chakra. And here we have the lovers death judgment and then we have the seven so we have the seven of cups the seven of swords the seven of wands the seven of coins king of coins king of swords king of wands king of cups so there we go so that's all the cards except the world and that is not under any chakra that has all the chakras of um the chakra system right from red right up into the indigo purpley colors at the top so that encases all of the all of the chakra colors so that is the world card so that's the cards i quite like how they are grouped up into their colors i quite like the system it's very it seems an interesting system and i'm going to try a few of these spreads out 
that's the back of them not a great fan of the backs but there you go but that's the back so i don't see the backs very often so it don't really matter to me but my problem is i don't really like the artwork the artwork isn't a type of artwork that i'd normally go for and to use it with my it's completely different artwork to um the artwork the artwork on the oracle and i'm not a huge fan of that but i prefer that over this um, I'm not sure I like it being all female inspired either, um, but that's just me. That's just my point of view. Um, but I've been surprised by decks before, so I will definitely give this a go. Um, and I would definitely do it through those spreads in there and see how I get on. I won't write it off completely yet because, like I said, it's, it is an interesting kind of um, system. And um, it may read well. You know, the oracle reads beautiful. This might be the same. So who knows? But there you go. There's the walkthrough of it. So you can get a good idea of what you get for your money. And if you have this, you'll have to let me know how you're finding it. Um, or if you don't have it, the reasons why, you, you know, if you have the oracle, why you, you know, you didn't go ahead and get this. I know that a few people have said they didn't think they needed this with the oracle. But um, I think I may agree. But we will see. Um, and I will be back later. Speak to you all soon. Bye for now.